okay. Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. So today I wanna to talk about um, Yolen, which is this really cute little, I think like indie French brand. I don't know too much about the brand. It started was started by Camille Yolen, I believe that's how you say her name. And she's like a French actress slash model. So yeah, everything is super cute. <laughs> I haven't really tried everything, um, but some things I've used a few times now and I'll get into that. Also, I have the new Sonia G Sheer Buffer Brush and spoiler alert, I freaking love this. Um, I've, I used it already for the first time yesterday and I'm like blown away. So we'll see, hopefully today it performs the same, but I was dying yesterday. I was like, this is the perfect brush. Before I get started on my base, I do want to show you the lip balm. So this is the Yolen Lip Balm made in Italy. Um, it comes in this really cute sort of floral tin. <laughs> the first couple times you open it, um, it's a little stiff to get it open, but I've been using this for a few days now and it, it kind of loosens up. But it's a really nice sort of like waxy, but I don't know, waxy but creamy still sort of lip balm. Um, definitely, it's not as like slippy as like Vaseline. It feels really nice. It does have like a flavor slash scent, but it's not very strong. It's just kind of like nice and pleasant. It's nothing like perfumey, you know? It's very moisturizing. Gonna sort of prime with the Lisa Eldridge Mist. So the new Sheer Buffer. Um, I do have the Face One and the Smooth Buffer. Um, the face one is now just called the Buffer Pro, and the handle is kind of the same as the Smooth Buffer and the Sheer Buffer, um, but it's the same. It's the same brush essentially. So these two are basically like the ultimate brushes <laughs> for buffing in and out uh, powders, um, applying finishing powder. You could apply powder products directly with it like like a powder blush or something but usually i use these like with a finishing powder specifically or with nothing on it um to kind of like smooth any lines make sure everything's blended so you can see it's got longer fibers um than both of the other buffer brushes um and about the same diameter as the smooth buffer um but this is a dual fiber brush and it also has um, synthetic and natural hairs where these two are both just natural hairs. So this one is designed to be used specifically with cream bronzer, um, but she said also, you know, other cream products such as blush um, and foundation. It's gonna be more of like a sheer diffused application of whatever product you use it for. And I was reading Sonya's blog post and she was saying that this would be good for people with dry skin for applying foundation because it's not going to disturb your skin um, and like kick up any flakes or anything. So I tested that out yesterday um, with um, this Korean foundation um, that I still needed to review on. Um, it looked amazing, but I do want to try it with another foundation. So I'm going to use one of my holy grails, the Givenchy Prisma Libra Skin Caring Glow. And I have the shade C105. And I've also tested this with cream bronzer, which I'll show you today. And I have found that just kind of wiping it on the microfiber towel makes it like pretty clean after. So if you want to use it with multiple cream products in a row, you can. I would just suggest just wiping it on like a microfiber towel. This one I just got in a bunch, a big pack from Amazon. I'm gonna kind of apply some to my cheek and spread it out. And then with no product directly on the brush, I'm gonna start blending. So I feel like that left pretty much no streaks um, after I kind of buffed it in and it looks flawless. <laughs> I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited about this brush. And she was saying as well that the brush is designed to be used like in both a stippling and buffing kind of motion. I don't have that much left on my hand, um, so I'm just gonna pick up the rest with the brush directly. 
and bring it down my neck some. I feel like it just gave it a very beautiful finish. Um, it looks, you know, luminous still. It doesn't look streaky. I feel like it's all blended in nicely. So I just wiped off the excess product onto my microfiber towel and now I'm gonna demonstrate it with a cream bronzer. This is Biscuit from Westman Atelier. And she said with sticks, um, you just kind of have to adjust the application a little bit. You can either go right onto the stick like that. Um, I'm probably going to just kind of swipe it on my hand in like a wider area and then just pick up from there. So I have the shade like that and I'm literally just gonna kind of pounce it a bit and it just picks up. I feel like it picks up just the right amount for a very kind of natural diffused application. It's so pretty. And I'm not the biggest fan of this bronzer the from Westman Atelier, but I thought, I haven't, I used it yesterday. I think I used it with Tara from M Cosmetics, but I just wanted to see because of how sheer this and kind of diffuse. It basically like goes on and is blended because of how light you're picking up. So on to the products from Yolin. It came with this cute little card and a message in French on the back. And I did take four years of French. So I can tell you <laughs> that it says Yolen is an invitation to play with the colors. And then that's all I can do. <laughs> I was going to Google translate it, but um, yeah, that's all I got from my memory, which actually, to be honest, is not that bad. I bet if I took French again, um, or started practicing, I could like pick it up pretty good. Um, so maybe that'll be in my future. <laughs> so, um, when I placed my order, there was a promotion, um, to get this free cute little velvet bag. And I was like, uh, hell yeah. So mine came with all the stuff like in this little bag. Um, and it's like pretty, it's, it's roomy enough. You know, it's a cute little makeup pouch. And it has this kind of like gold rope drawstring. Very cute. And it says Yolen on the front there in the gold. Feels like pretty nice quality. So besides the lip balm, I also got two of their Mousse de Rouge. Or Le, yeah, yeah, Le Mousse de Rouge. <laughs> Which is basically like their signature lip product. Um, and it's like a lip and cheek mousse. It says... The lip and cheek mousse leaves a veil of color with a velvet finish on your lips. Rich and comfortable, it can also be used on the cheeks. Apply with a brush for more precision or with fingers for a blurry look. So they have quite a few shades of these and they did just launch, they came out with a nude collection. Well, it's two, two new shades that are nude. <laughs> um, but the rest of the colors are sort of typical, you know, lip colors. I have Rouge Framboise. Fram framboise, <laughs> which is raspberry red. And then I have um, rose fry or fray, which is fresh rose. They come in these cute sort of floral tubes. Hold on. So this one is also is called fresh rose, but it's also called um, pivoine, which might also mean rose. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Um, but just so you know, if you're in case you're looking for the shade and I'll have that um, in the description box. So here's what they look like. It is quite literally like a mousse texture. Um, they're very pigmented, feels very soft. Um, the first couple ingredients are like dimethicone. So, you know, it's like a silicone-y, very slippy matte mousse formula. And these are like pretty intense swatches. You definitely don't need this much. Like one thing I'll say about, about the tube is I do think it needs maybe a smaller nozzle or something. Not that it's very large, it's just like, this is overkill. Like you really, you don't need this much at all. Here is the stain of each color on my finger after I've sort of wiped it off. This one is Pivoine and this one is Framboise. I use Framboise. <laughs> I'm probably just butchering these, but I use the raspberry shade. I'll oh, maybe I'll just say that I use raspberry yesterday in a look I did and that's on my Instagram so definitely check that out if you want to see that color um, but today I'm gonna use the rose shade which 
honestly looks a little bit more peachy, but I'm gonna use that shade um, on my lips and cheeks today. I also got their lip pencil in the shade um, Latte Nude. Feels very creamy. Um, that's the color right there. So I think it, it should go fine. It's like, it's just like a pinky brown, so it should go fine with the peachy rose on top. Um, but I'm gonna apply this first. I do have that bomb on from before. But yeah, this liner is super creamy feeling. It's just a really nice kind of natural nudie pinky brown. This is their lip brush. So one side is a retractable brush like this. Um, pretty firm, synthetic, thin brush. And then this side is like, basically like a little foamy sponge applicator, which this is what I've been using. I'm gonna use this um, today to apply it, so you can see. So I'm hardly gonna take any, and I'm just gonna sort of dab it on there. You really don't need a lot. And it definitely has like that blurring matte, moussey finish. So I have not yet used this on the cheeks though, so this is gonna be interesting. Here's the color again. Oh, it's so pretty on the cheeks. It's definitely like very pigmented. You don't need a lot at all. Even though it's pigmented, um, it blends out really easily, especially with fingers. I don't know, I feel like it's just, it's pretty effortless. Gonna do a bit of the Ola Hemrickson under eye corrector in Banana. <laughs> Givenchy Concealer. Oh wait, no, this is Dior. Givenchy Concealer. Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush. So I have been using a few different retinols. So I think my under eyes are kind of like a little flaky so just like try to ignore that if you see that <laughs> even if they are a little bit flaky I'm still gonna use a little bit of the Jones Road powder just a little bit for the eyes I'm gonna keep things pretty simple this is Victoria Beckham eyewear in trench Jones Road Chic. Jones Road Smoky Gray. Where am I going with this? <laughs> Cleona Deep Sea Treasures. Let's see. I guess we'll do Ring of Fire. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. It's happening. Okay. And then Saltwater Pearl. Smoky Gray again. Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. Clay Depo Highlighter. Charlotte Tilbury Brow Gel. Because this look kind of took a more intense turn, I'm gonna do a bit of the poolside gloss on top of this lip. 
Okay, so I just sprayed a little bit more of the Lisa Eldridge Mist. Um, so let's zoom in and we'll go over my final thoughts. So, starting with Eolen. Um, I really like everything, um, especially like this lip balm is just so nice. Um, the liner is like super creamy and their mousses are really nice too. And I feel like they really work nice on the cheeks. I would definitely pick up more shades of these as well as the pencil. I'm kind of curious to get a couple more of the pencils. I love the overall vibes of the brand. I love the floral. Feels pretty like intuitive to apply the mousses. Like you can use your fingers, you can use their little brush. I do really like the sponge applicator. Now I feel like I found a new use for all of my little like sponge tip applicators that come in all those eyeshadow palettes, you know? The sheer buffer, um, I feel like is a must have brush. I really struggle with foundation brushes, especially when I'm like, literally like buffing like this um, and the streakiness. But this one, it kind of just like blended out the streaks as you were going like pretty seamlessly. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work with all formulas. So far I've just tried it with, um, you know, more liquidy kind of runny formulas. I'll have to try it with like the blender cover or something. I forgot to mention this before, um, but I was also really excited for this brush because of the base one. So this, I'm not sure if this one is being made still, um, but this was like, this is another duo fiber brush and it's meant for like liquid foundations, but but I've been having more luck with it with like cream, bronzer and, uh, and blush, like how this was designed for. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can just use both because this is gonna be, you know, it's a little bit denser. Um, so it's gonna be more targeted and more pigmented. And then this is gonna be, you know more diffuse so i'm excited honestly i kind of want to get another one too <laughs> just because i want to always have one on hand and it's just it's so nice highly highly recommend okay so that's all for today uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that i upload a new video follow my instagram prettier than gram and my tiktok prettier than talk um, my next review is probably gonna be <laughs> Also about uh, another cute French brand because I did pick up a few new things from uh, Le Fion Rouge. So yeah, lots of cute French things. <laughs> okay, goodbye.